Behold, Black Sabbath. But where did it come from? Meet Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, yeah. We're doing sabbaticals. I thought it was Sabbath. Nope, sabbaticals. I was gonna bite the head off of a bat and everything. Uh, give me a second. Everyone needs a break. If we didn't stop to relax, we'd get progressively less productive over time until we burned out to the point of being exhausted, frustrated, and unhealthy. A sabbatical is defined in the dictionary as a break or change from normal routine, such as employment. We often use it interchangeably with the term career break. So long as it's not sudden, the time is extended, and you eventually return to your job. Ideally, the goal is to escape work so you can recharge and be more productive. But where did we get this idea from? The origin of the sabbatical concept actually comes from passages written in the Old Testament using the original term Sabbath. In Genesis, God is described as resting on the seventh day after all the work he did creating the world. This Sabbath day, or day of rest, continues in the present as a tradition of working six days and resting on the seventh. In Jewish homes, the Sabbath lasts from sundown on a Friday until the following sundown on a Saturday. Saturday, Donnie, is Shabbos, the Jewish day of rest. That means I don't work, I don't drive a car, I don't ride in a car, I don't handle money, I don't turn on the oven, and I sure as don't roll! Sheesh. Shabbos, Shabbos! The chapter of Leviticus mandates that farmers should work for six years and then take one year to rest, letting the fields, animals, and people refresh. Today our Sabbaths are sabbaticals from our employers. Sometimes these are paid. For example, academics take sabbaticals to pursue research, often being paid half their salaries when they do so. Other industries, however, rarely award paid sabbaticals unless the employee has been with the company for an extended period of time, like 25 years. Unpaid sabbaticals are more common. When you take one, your pension and salary are usually frozen. Your employer may hold on to your job, or they might take the option to place you in a similar position when you return, but at the same pay grade. It may seem like sabbaticals would only benefit the employee. But some companies like them too, because it can be cheaper to let an employee take a break rather than refilling their position with new staff. So what do people do with themselves during these breaks? Some people travel, while others learn new things like a language or leadership skills to develop themselves professionally. People also take the time to volunteer for charitable organizations, indulge in creative pursuits, or just simply recuperate from being burnt out on their daily grind. Just as its religious origin implies, a sabbatical is supposed to restore your energy and enthusiasm. So when you come back, you'll be even better at your job. Here at Stuff of Genius, we're going on a little sabbatical of our own. But don't worry, we'll be back. Subscribe so you're alerted when new videos are added to our channel, and check out GeniusStuff.com for new content every week.